Good Morning Cleveland starts right now. On your side with Northeast Ohio's best coverage, this is News Channel 5. I'm AC Jepson along with Mike Dunstan. Let's get right to that breaking news. Yeah, traffic anchor Jackie Zabelski is on top of it. So Jackie, we understand there was some kind of crash. Tell us about it. Yes, there was an overnight crash on 71 northbound. It shut down 71 throughout the overnight hours. It has reopened now. The northbound side of 71 reopened around 3 a.m. But that crash did cause a closure of parts of 71 northbound, including the ramp to 90 westbound, as well as the Interbelt Bridge. All were shut down, and you can see this video from the scene because of that crash. So traffic overnight was severely impacted. There were also rubbernecking delays on 71 southbound. Now for your morning commute, this should not affect you. Traffic is reopened and we are seeing traffic moving along relatively well throughout this entire area. You can see green arrows on 90 as well as on 71. So not seeing a problem traffic wise for your commute this morning, but that crash is a story that we'll be following throughout the day. All right, good morning everyone. 431 right now. As far as your current temperatures are concerned, we are in the 30s in some areas, 20s generally for most of us. Look at Cleveland 27, Norwalk 27 degrees, Mansfield down to 25 right now. We are dry, but still on the cloudy side. Now sunshine should make an appearance this afternoon. Let's take a look at your hour by hour outlook for today. We go with temperatures in the lower 20s this morning, 29 degrees by noon. We'll reach a high right around freezing, say about three o'clock today. Then temperatures will fall into the upper 20s. 20s with increasing clouds again this evening. So your window for sunshine today is somewhat limited here, but we should be able to squeeze in some sun unlike yesterday. Back to you, Mike and Macy. Christine, thank you. Now to a story that's trending on newsnet5.com right now, and the comments just keep on coming on our Facebook page. The new name for the Cleveland Brown Stadium is expected to be revealed at a news conference this afternoon. Now our news partner, the Akron Beacon Journal, says the naming rights have been sold to First Energy. The company won't confirm it, and neither will the Cleveland Browns. News Channel 5's Kristen Byrne joins us live now. So Kristen, when are we going to find out more? Hey, Mike, that news conference here at the stadium is scheduled for two this afternoon. So, of course, we are waiting to learn what this name will be. Now, News Channel 5 has learned that dozens of footballs have been made uh, at the Wilson football plant in Ada, Ohio. Uh, they sport the name First to Energy Field at Cleveland Browns Stadium on them. That plant is the official manufacturer of footballs for the NFL. So if all these reports are true, this would be the first time that a company name has been attached attached to the Cleveland Browns Stadium. I want to know what you think. Head to my Facebook page, Kristen Byrne, WEWS, and, and weigh in. All right, Kristen, thank you. And with Cleveland Browns Stadium possibly getting a new name, it's sparking conversations all around Northeast Ohio. So we asked fans about it overnight, about that possible change. Well, I was disappointed to hear it. I mean, it's been the Browns Stadium since I was a kid growing up, Browns Stadium before that. and. And it was Brown Stadium after they came back. I like I like that it's Cleveland Brown Stadium as it is. I like I don't like the corporate sponsorship name. There's so much history there. There's so much history with the team. The Cleveland Brown Stadium just says it all. Now you can also weigh in on the name change. Just log on to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash WEWS5. This morning, police are sounding the alarm after a rash of car break-ins in Cuyahoga County. News Channel 5 Cedra Mayfield has been following this story. And what are police saying, Cedra? Well, Macy, it's happening in Cleveland Heights, and police say right about now during the overnight and early morning hours is when thieves are targeting your car. Now, this is not a new crime in Cleveland Heights, but this time it's happening along Alston Road. Someone's been entering cars and taking everything they can get their hands on. At least four thefts reported just yesterday. But police say these are crimes of opportunity that could have been avoided. In each case, the vehicles had been left unlocked. Now, police are again reminding everyone to always remove your valuables and lock your doors. So far, no arrests have been made in the latest thefts. Sadra, thank you for that warning. Today is the deadline for Vice President Biden to deliver his recommendation about gun control. He will send his outline to President Obama for ways the administration should respond to recent gun violence. A task force was formed after the Sandy 